The Picts of the Wild North and the Anglo-Saxons of the South may sound like they would have been worlds apart, but think again, they actually entered into a treaty at one point. In 446 AD, some leaders of the Celtic Britons made their final appeal to Rome for them to send Roman soldiers back to Britannia to help the Britons defend against raids from the Picts and the Scotti. This was known as the Groans of the Britons, but the Romans, who had left in 410 AD, refused to help. Vortigern, a king of the Britons, turned to the Anglo-Saxons. He invited Anglo-Saxon mercenaries, hardened warriors, over to help fight the Picts and the Scotti, and they were given land in the east of modern England in exchange. After pushing the Picts and the Scotti further north, the Anglo-Saxons soon turned on their hosts, the Britons. They quickly became a source of terror as waves of Anglo-Saxons flooded into the land we call England today. At this point, the Anglo-Saxons entered into a treaty with the Picts, allowing them to secure their northern boundary and put their full energy into carving out their own territory. Bede even writes that the Anglo-Saxons and the Picts joined forces against the Britons. This alliance was most likely short-lived in the shifting sands of alliance in Britain at that point. The Anglo-Saxons and the Britons would go on to fight on numerous occasions during the Anglo-Saxon settlement of Britain, including at the Battle of Mount Baden around 500 AD, a battle where King Arthur reportedly fought at. King Arthur, however, will be a subject of a future video. This video was merely to point out the surprising alliances down through history. Thanks for watching. If you would like to support this work on Patreon and get ad free content, all the links will be in the description below. You can also buy me a coffee or donate through PayPal. Please subscribe and hit the bell and tell your friends and family about this channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.